Hello, hello, hello there, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It's so good to be here with you today. I hope that all is well with you. Well, I have been going into the garden and collecting and harvesting my squash. And what I want to really do is go and harvest my butternut squash. I have been avoiding it, but I need to do it and make sure that I collect them all. Yeah, they are so beautiful and they're so ready because I don't want them to spoil. We've been getting a lot of rain here in the Boston area and um, I don't want any of my harvest rotting. So I need to get out there uh, and gather. Yes, it is time to gather. And if you did not listen to my last video when we did our, our video live, talked, I talked about how to um, make it easier to harvest our vegetables and our different produce for this growing season of 2021, how to just make it easier for ourselves. So I'm going to take some of my own advice, going out there and start harvesting uh, the different vegetables, but especially my butternut squash. So come with me as we go out and harvest. <laughs> I just picked this butternut squash from the garden. It's looking so sweet. I'm going to put it in my soup. I love the idea of going from garden to table. I already have on the fire the chicken, the peppers, onions, and tomatoes from the garden that I had picked earlier and now I'm going to just add the squash just to add some more flavor and freshness to my soup. It's kind of cool outside today. Temperatures are in the 50s. Um, it's warmed up a bit but not much and when the sun is shining of course it's very pleasant. But having this soup is going to just thrill me. I feel so good about just cutting it fresh from the vine. You could see that. Delicious. I can already taste it in my mouth. Mmm, yum yum. Well, this is the day that I'm going to harvest these squash that are here. I've been wanting to do it forever and just been avoiding the whole process. But it is a sunny day today, so I am going to go ahead and just get right in there and harvest these butternut squash. Let's start with this one here. Now it's been holding on and my husband put it on a on a rock so that it would be on the ground. So I'm going to just try and see if I can one hand this. Here it is, first one. And I just have this cardboard box. Uh, I just have this cardboard box because it just seems easier to harvest it and put it in the box. All right, let's get the next one. Now this one is a little more tricky because it is um, 
entwined in the rose bush. So it looks like I should have had my um, gloves on. Oh, not too bad. Kind of pull it out a little bit. Um, let's see. Not too bad. <laughs> it's right down in here. So this is the second one. Wow. Try not to get in my shadow. So that's two. There's a third one in here. Um, that one might be a little bit more tricky to get. So I think it is entrenched. Look at all of this. I don't want to cause a mess, so I'm going to leave that. But there's another one I know. Ow, that I saw down in here. There it is. Ooh. It's dangling. Do you see it there? Yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to get in there for it. But let's see if there are any that are closer by that I can harvest now. Ooh. I didn't realize that they have like these little pricklies on them. Apparently they do. I don't see any right in here. But I know, or I think I saw some by the way, here are my beautiful zinnias that are in here. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's one right there. I won't get that one. Let's see. I'm gonna have to get my tool. So these are my dinosaur kale that I planted and you can see that the um, cosmos is finished and also the purple perella. Um, the nights have been cool now so that these tender, tender perennials or um, plants are not able to withstand but so far my zinnias are doing very, very well here. This is the other one that I saw 
and there. So now we have three. I see another one also that I'm going to get that is in there as well. So now I have four and actually I see another one that I missed right here. You see that one? Yeah, so I have to go and get that one out of there too. I was able to get this one, which was tucked under there. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six wonderful squash here. And I had collected one from the other side. So that's seven for today. I think there are a few more on the other side. So let's go on that side and see what we can get. Spray it. I'm gonna have to collect these squash. Yeah, butternut squash. That's next in the gathering. So I've collected these so far and I'm going to check over here. I have already harvested uh, two of them that were on this vine here that followed this vine. So I think though that there may be another one. So let's just take a quick look here and see what we get. I see any. Um, these are still on the vine. I see that corn there. Um, these seem to be still young over here. I don't see anything. But there may be one in there in that garden. So let's go over there and see what's in that space. This is my beautiful <laughs> herbal tea garden. I was able to harvest seven beautiful butternut squash and it, they are looking so good. I am going to put them away in a cool storage space so that they can last through the winter months we can eat butternut squash. The ones that are more green, I will eat earlier, and the darker ones, they will be less. It's a wonderful time for some chicken soup with little dumplings and some butternut squash from the garden.
uh, being with me as we uh, went through and gathered our different squash. I am so glad that you joined me here at Catherine's Garden and Home and where we grow, grow, grow together in Catherine's Garden and Home. That's right, grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's Garden and Home. So thank you for being with me in the garden as I gathered my squash, my butternut squash. And I hope that all is going well for you, that you are enjoying this harvest season, that you are making it a joy and not a chore. Mm -hmm. That this is just um, satisfying, yeah. So uh, continue to go out there and do it. Make it happen for yourself and for your family. Well, thank you so much for joining me here. And see you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home. Have a great day. Bye. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.